first day back from the long weekend and it was definitely eventful. Um, as you can see from the chart, uh, starting from uh, our market open, uh, we basically just dropped. Uh, we opened low and we just kept on drifting lower. Um, and uh, I'm really happy with kind of my decision making process today. I, I missed yet again the, the lows and the best possible prices, but uh, I've done quite good. Uh, let me tell you, t take you through what happened. So as you guys know, yesterday I had a um, purchase at 47.12 up here. Um, and uh, really that turned out to be very close to the top um, prior to this whole kind of collapse. We're down 4.5% on crude today. So it's, it's a massive drop, um, which on the 2x ETFs translates to 9%. Um, and I managed to take 8.44% uh, of that. So if we go to my results on tradingjournal.ca, um, you'll see that listed here. So at 8.44% 8 um, with a 23.3% weight, um, it was a, roughly a $2,000 uh, $2, um, day. Um, for that position, so definitely happy with that. Um, but uh, we are making new lows, so uh, we've gotten as low as 44.91. Um, we've retraced back up above um, 45 again. Um, it's now 3:20 in the afternoon Eastern Time, so we still have 40 minutes. And given what's happened today, I don't rule out the fact that we're going to be testing those lows again before close. So I do have another short from 4530, which is in the money at the moment. Um, I'm not eager to get rid of it where we are right now. Um, if we hit 4470 today, um, I will exit that position. But if not, then I'm going to hold out for tomorrow's action. And even if we bounce tomorrow, um, I don't expect a, a bounce that would be sufficient for me to re-enter unless I sell this other short position. Um, but hey, who knows? Um, in any case, uh, tomorrow is news. So get, the fact that we had the long weekend um, this past weekend for uh, Canada Day and July 4th, um, Independence Day in the US, we uh, do not have news today as is typical um, for uh, EAI, um, inventory news. Um, so you, typically that happens today, Wednesdays at 10.30 a.m. Instead, on holiday weeks, it's moved to Thursday at 11 a.m. Eastern. So this, all this action is really in an anticipation of what's going to come in that news tomorrow. So as you can see, it's definitely bearish in comparison to the rally that we've had earlier this past um, couple of weeks. So we'll see how that uh, develops um, as we come into closing today. Um, we're drifting towards 45 right as I speak and I think there's a good chance that we close below 45 but I don't know if we're gonna hit 4470 if we don't hit that particular number or very close to it I'm, I'm inclined to wait uh, because I think there's gonna there's just based on the the chart if we go to the one day chart uh, maybe it's I'll give you a better example so if you look at where the resistance is, um, you know, this 4460, 4480 um, range here is where right now, so where that dotted line is across the screen is 4471. As you can see, it's got a lot of resistance there. Where we are right now doesn't really have much. So I think it's an artificial resistance level, if I can call it that. And I think where we really settle is a little bit lower than that. So that's kind of my expectation, and if it doesn't happen today, then I'll hold out for that tomorrow, um, because I think we'll get there. Um, hopefully we get there during North American trading, but if not, so be it. Um, I'll get my chance um, with that position one way or the other, um, eventually. So that's, uh, that's kind of what happened today. I'd love to hear what you guys did and how, um, how others played this action. Um, hit me up uh, down below on YouTube or over on tradingjournal.ca where you can find information on re my results, uh, portfolio, and trading charts. Uh, subscribe to stay tuned, give us a thumbs up, and I'll check back with you guys before tomorrow's trading on Thursday. Cheers.